I would like to start with a question. What do you think a typical day for a 15-year-old youth like me look like? Now, depending on our family backgrounds, we could be going to school, then for our tuition centers, maybe some entrance training could be medical, engineering, or our SATs. A lot of us are involved in extracurricular activities like sports and music. Now, if we youth who come from underserved communities, we could be working for our family's benefit and survival at risk of taking our vulnerable jobs and getting into crime. So hello, everyone. My name is Lakshya Subodh, and I am here to share an idea with you. An idea inspired my journey in sports that I believe can help millions of youth like me discover their passion and explore their happy careers. An idea that I accidentally stumbled upon and want to share it with all of you. So back when I was a kid, like most Indians, I loved playing cricket. And I was training to become this young cricketer. But then came this one day when I accidentally landed up watching a live football game in one of the world's largest football stadiums. I was watching the game and I said that, you know what, even I want to play this sport. Even I want to wear those cool looking jerseys and even I want to play for these top clubs. I generally started playing football after this tip, trip and I really trained hard because I found out that the state selections were coming up. I slogged out, and in two and a half months, I was in the Karnataka State football team. 82 days to be precise, and I'm really thankful for that. Now, if these accidents can happen to me in sports, why can't these accidents happen to me in choosing other careers? I wondered, that why are we youth not exploring different careers? This was when I thought that, you know, these positive accidents happen outside the classroom and not inside. The skilling may be inside the classroom, but the inspiration may not. That's why I believe that let's first get ignited and then let's get skilled and not the other way around. I decided to test this model out in careers and just about that time when I was thinking, I came across this article that said 16% among youth are jobless in India. 16%. I did a bit more research and found out that the issue is not just youth unemployment. The issue is a lot, lot bigger than unemployment. It's about youth dropping out of school, youth losing interest, youth getting into vulnerable jobs and crime. In Karnataka alone, 82,221 dropouts have been recorded in the last two years. I did further more research and I found out that this is a massive global issue and not just an issue in India. For example, in the United States, 1.3 million students drop out of school every year. This means 7,000 every day and one in every 26 seconds. Now, why are we youth dropping out of school? Why are we youth losing interest? So this was when I initially decided to connect two different worlds, a world of a classroom and a world of a sports playground, and came with this idea that helps youth like me discover their passion, similarly how I discovered mine in football by one simple exposure, by one simple experience of watching a live football game. And this was how my initiative, Igniting Dreams, was born. An idea that helps youth like me discover, explore, take those positive U-turns in life by simply giving them the opportunity to shadow a CEO for a day, the opportunity to have micro-internships, the opportunity to have industry trips to different fields like engineering and jobs like coding that may seem boring for few people today. But you know what? Let us choose. Who knows that it may be our specific passion and who knows that we may just love that field. So the idea really is that we are providing trailers of careers. Just like how we watch a trailer before choosing which movie to go, I'm giving that same option to youth so that they can choose the careers 
they love. We are giving trailers of careers so that these youth can get excited outside the classroom and then come back inside to get skilled and stay in school. So far, in the last three months, we have made a small start. 160 students have undergone career guidance. 25 students from rural schools visited one of the largest German engineering companies. 15 students have got micro-internship opportunities. 20 students have had an industry trip with one design and advertisement firm in Bangalore. And 55 students in total have undergone trailers in various careers. We have tested this model with youth. Youth who come from villages, youth who come from different backgrounds. Youth who never really thought of even seeing a city office are now having that chance to have micro-internships and exposures to one of the top companies in the world through igniting dreams. And yes, we are igniting dreams. We are helping you take those positive U-turns in life, and most importantly, we are changing lives. Now, why are we youth stuck? Why are we youth not able to choose from the variety of choices we have today? That's why I dream of this world where all of us have happy careers, which basically means a person is happy with his job and a person is passionate with his or her work. So right now, we youth are trapped. Trapped inside our classrooms, trapped inside our music centers, trapped inside our tuition classes. We do not have the opportunity, the chance, to explore the unexplored. So let me tell you something that I'm really proud to share. Just a few days back, we had identified 10 students who were undergoing a typical skills program. These 10 out of 800 had high creative ability. And we had thought to give them the opportunity to have an industry trip with one of the design and advertisement firms in Bangalore. During this three-hour trip, they were exposed to blogging, video blogging, graphic design, photography, and a lot of new stuff. I saw their faces lit up after this event, and I thought that we may have just transformed the lives of these 10. Here is a picture of a girl who got ignited. A picture of a girl who discovered a career in photography which she was never really aware of. The photo of a girl who never had held a professional camera was now being taught on how to operate it and get that perfect shot. These girls un had undergone various trailers in careers, such like graphic design and blogging. And all of these three left with dreams. Their smiles left smiles on our faces, which was the real validation for me. Now, to summarize, I want all of you all to leave with a thought that let young people like us have the chance to explore. Like you encourage us to go for school, to go to tuitions, next time encourage us to go for these industry trips, to go for these small micro-internships, and encourage us to talk to industry experts. Because we youth learn more outside the classroom than inside. We learn through experiences, we learn through exposures. Now, I would urge you to just take 10 students from different backgrounds, just 10, and give them this opportunity through your network. Who knows that you may have just prevented a school dropout? Who knows that you may have prevented a student from taking up crime? Who knows that you may have given the greatest gift to a student by making him happy for the rest of his life, by helping him choose meaningful and happy careers? Who knows? Like I said, let's first get ignited, and then let's get skilled, and not the other way around. Because believe me, this way, we can just not skill India, but also ignite India. Thank you.